So in total, I made these are all the stuff I prepared for any manga, and I feel it's not enough, even though it's a lot. It's not packed into the bags yet, but I just took everything out so I can do a stock take. And I also bought new tablecloth, and I regret because it was a bit expensive, but it's okay. I also got some of my notepads, which I'm trying to get rid of, as these are a lot of like my older designs, as well as jumpers at the back. Because they take up too much space in my apartment. Snoodles. Thank you. Hello. Hello. So as you can see, I'm printing all the sticker sheets here. And yeah, this is how my studio looks like. It's actually really messy right now. What I did today was do lots of stock taking. Usually before a convention, I count how many sticker sheets I have and I just restock the ones that are low on stock. So that's what I'm doing today. I was also counting all my stickers here. And it's a bummer because I felt like I made a mistake with like the sticker packaging. Let me show you. Oh no, why do I keep focusing on Chaco? Yeah, so this is how I package my sticker sheet. But... A lot of people are confused with what is this backing right here. It's actually just another backing board that I put to protect the sticker. Because I thought I would be having like loads of wholesale orders. But, <laughs> but I only got like one or two. I'm gonna remove this and just have the plain sticker sheet. Not the plain, but the sticker sheet with a plastic sleeve. And yeah, that would be it. So I need to change that. So today I came from the printers as I got three new art prints done this week. So I wanted to get all of them professionally done as I already stocked my stickers from home. Might as well just get the A3 prints done professionally. But I really hope it turns out okay. I'm just slightly worried that I chose the wrong kind of paper finish. But let's just see how it goes. I was also a bit stressed last week. I had some trouble with updating my iPad for a few months already. So I had some time on my hands and I wanted to do a hard reset of the iPad. So I did everything correctly. Like I, I backed up my iPad to the iCloud. And I reset the iPad and eventually the update worked. But right now, it's not showing all my old Procreate files. So I don't have my old Procreate files. Which is a bit annoying. I have the JPEGs on my computer, but I didn't save the Procreate files, like the original files. But anyway, let me show you some of the art prints I did. I'm really excited. So this is my first new art print in a while. So this one is of Nana and Haki. So I wanted to do them standing side by side with all their like contrasting kind of items and aesthetics. This is the second art print I did, which is new as well. It's from the anime Windbreaker. I hope this will be popular. I'm actually not too sure whether it's a popular anime. The next art print I did is half original and half fan art. Normally I do my original characters, but for anime conventions, I feel like it's good just to do like a bit of a mix. So what I usually do is I draw my characters with other characters. I draw them cosplaying in different outfits, like what I imagine their favorite anime to be. I sent a total of 12 art prints to the printers, including these three new ones. And I'm really excited to get it on Friday and I'll update it with y'all then. So last night I spent some time making new price tags for my items. They look like this. I make new price tags depending on whether I want to clear a stock or change my prices. Hopefully this will make people less intimidated when they shop for items at my booth. As I know some people do not like asking for prices. I also made signage of my characters. Um, I'll use this to decorate my booth. Also, I'm still waiting on the cello bags from the postman, so I hope they come soon. I really need to protect them from dust as I live with pets, so I don't really want them to have like pet hair on them. 
it's Friday, so today I'm gonna pick up my art prints from the printers, which I'm really excited for. But I'm also cutting some sticker sheets. So these ones are for the kawaii notebook that I designed. I don't know whether you can tell, but this was designed like about three years ago. It's with my older art style. But yeah, basically it's an undated planner. I'm trying to slowly sell it. <laughs> But yeah, I'm only gonna bring about six of them for conventions because I I don't usually sell too much of them but I think it's just good to have especially like if it's a local convention in Melbourne. My cello bags arrived which I'm super happy about and I can finally repack my sticker sheet so it's a lot clearer for customers when they look so they don't get confused because this used to be the back of the sticker sheet and I wanted it to be like a, a backing board to protect the sticker, sticker sheet, make it have more branding. But I think in hindsight, it just made people think that there were multiple stickers, like sticker sheets inside. So this is how the notebook would look like with the new sticker sheet. I got the art prints and it looks so good. <laughs> I can't wait to show y'all. Thanks for some of the artists and yeah so I just stopped by Kohl's and now I'm heading to the convention center. So excited. I also found more hoodies on my shelf in the back so I'm happy that I have a few more sweaters or hoodies to display. I initially thought I only had like one design which sold out yesterday that's the one that always sells out but now I have a few more so I'm happy about that and now let's head to the convention center Hello. Hi. Hi everyone so it's finally Tuesday so it's a day after Sunday yes and I had some time to reflect about how the convention went as well as take some time to rest and recover because I was actually really tired after Sunday like my, my, my legs were somehow quite sore even though I tried to sit down a lot more so for this convention in general it was a lot bigger than last year um, I attended both last year as an artist and this year as an artist and this year there were 400 artists so it was quite a big convention for the con for people who attend the con to go to um i saw a lot of advertising on facebook about the convention itself so that was good and i was quite excited for the outcome however i heard from some of the convention goers that they weren't able to enter on saturday the people who did manage to enter they came quite early this is what i heard from the customers i talked to 
Mm. In general, I hope that the people who attended the con had a good time and it wasn't too stressful for them. And I think it was, it's quite overstimulating. So I'm gonna break down my revenue and the costs from the convention. So in total, I made $1,928 from the convention. I had 91 sales in total from two days. Um, this was a bit shorter than what I was expecting from a convention of this scale, but it's okay. I think positive. So I'm going to break down my cost as well. So in total, I made 1928 However, the cost for the table itself was 352 And I also paid for some other stuff like parking. That was $40. I also paid for tolls. So as I had to drive into the city and to pay, and I didn't want to take the longer route, I decided to use tolls. So tolls cost $24.36. As well as I took public transport on Saturday as I didn't want to pay for parking. I also spent $79.70 and I have to redo food. everything because I messed up minus a portable clothing rack that cost $18 and some extra display stuff such as tablecloths tablecloths and hooks I will not include that in the cost because of this convention just because I'm going to use it for future conventions yeah so in total the profit was $1,423.94 However, I still have an account for the product costs which I'm not gonna do for this video as it's gonna be too long-winded but yeah, so probably after that it's about maybe 1.2 Overall, I didn't meet my expected goal from the convention so I was a little bummed about that but I always try to think positive as running a business there's always like ups and downs so this is part of the business journey so i hope that was informative for y'all if y'all like more videos like this let me know yeah i hope to do another convention video for mellow art market and a little bit more convention type video content as well as like running my online store content and i'm really excited to share that with y'all so if we haven't met I'm Natasha and I design cute stationery and artwork as well as other merchandise such as glass cups, um, hoodies, but I'm phrasing that out, as well as art prints and planner related stuff. Yeah, so a little bit of everything. I also tried making clay items and I can talk about that in another video. <laughs> so I just wanted to pop on here and talk a little bit more about whether the whole convention was worth it. I'm actually based in Melbourne right now. Since the convention is also in Melbourne, I could save a lot on accommodation and transport costs. If I actually traveled from interstate, I would have to pay at least $800 in transport and accommodation as I usually, I usually fly to conventions. Another thing was my booth placement. So there were four different columns of if I'm not wrong, there were four different columns of artists and I was in the second column to the wall and the entrance was all the way over that side. So I think most of the people that actually attended the con didn't get to see all the artists as well. So I think booth placement was also really important. However, it was good because I kind of had it was good because I had the corner booth. It was a bit easier for people to see what I was selling as I had my hoodies on the side. My top selling items at this convention were sticker sheets, stickers, art prints, as well as my glass cups. The best item was small stickers. So I sold a total of 29 units. And this also includes my bundle. So I do a bundle of three for ten dollars the next one would be single and triple sticker sheets so i sell them in bundles as well so if they buy three 
um, they get like a three dollar discount. That was my next best selling item. Glass cups as well sold pretty well. I actually discounted the price by quite a bit. So usually I sell them for thirty, but this time I dropped it to twenty five as I want to change the the process of how I make the glass cups. My next item that sold pretty well were were notebooks and notepads. So the a lot of people bought my larger planner notepads, which I'm quite happy about. And I had about five sales for hoodies, so that was not too bad. Um, I wanted to sell a little bit more, but I tried my best, so that's all I sold. Another thing to consider is that I mostly sell original artwork, so I don't really do fan art as often. Uh, a bulk of my fan art merch is from Studio Ghibli, as well as I have like Sun Sanrio. I have some Sun Sanrio and Pokemon items, but it's not a lot. It probably makes up about like 20-30% of my work. So would I do this convention again? Yes, I would. Overall, it was quite okay because it was a local con so I could save on travel costs. So booth placement, my type of art, and whether it's a local convention is something to consider as well. And also another thing to keep in mind it was that it was a really competitive market. There were over 400 artists. So I think for... If I was a convention goer, I wouldn't have gone like to all the artist booths. I would have just bought like fan art I was interested in. I am planning to do more work for Mellow Art Market in the theme of small town big dreams. I'm really excited for as I want to create like new washi tapes, um keychains and also like glass cups or acrylic cups. I can't decide. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. Yeah, but I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really good chatting with you all. That has ended. So in general like the 900 or 92. Sorry. Cheers. Um that was informative.